IABD, I'm Meredith Heyman. This is Industry Insights. Thanks so much for joining me. The monthly jobs report numbers provide a snapshot of the U.S. economy. They can give insight into the Fed, inflation, and possible rate cuts or hikes. So how can investors best interpret this data? Joining me to discuss is Zip Recruiter's chief economist, Julia Pollock. Julia, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Meredith. So let's jump right in. In general, how do jobs reports influence the Fed? Well, the Fed has two mandates. One is to keep prices stable and one is to get us to full employment. And so they're looking for two kinds of pieces of data in the jobs report. One is how strong the labor market is and the stronger the labor market, the better. The other is whether wage growth is under control. And ideally, the Fed wants to see wage growth of around 3.5% year over year, which is consistent with its 2% inflation target. And what about inflation and the possibility of rate cuts and hikes? So if you see that wage growth number coming in hotter and there isn't a sign that it's warranted by strong productivity growth, well, that can be a signal that the Fed might hold rates higher for longer or raise them uh, because those, that wage growth could be inflationary. And jobs reports also are a big check in on how the economy is doing. What do we see in that? Absolutely. So we get numbers of payrolls uh, added by industry. We can also see how households are doing, how many people are unemployed, what's happening with youth employment, what's happening with minorities. Uh, there are plenty of leading indicators in this report as well, like working hours and employment in temporary business services. So it's really important to take a look at all of the different indicators in this report to see how much demand for work there is in this economy and whether it's likely to increase or decrease in the coming months. And probably the most, uh, what comes to mind initially at least, is what job reports tell us about job creation and information for job seekers. Absolutely. So anytime the unemployment rate is lower, you know that it's a better environment out there for job seekers, uh, that it'll be more competitive for employers because labor is scarce. You know, you become more valuable when you're scarce. Uh, so that's always a good indicator to look at as well. In what sectors do job reports tend to affect the most? Well, so the jobs report tells us about job growth across 800 different industries, right? And uh, those are broken into some, some major sectors that people follow very closely. There's the goods uh, producing industries and the service providing industries. Uh, of course, this is becoming more and more of a service economy over time. And so more and more people are employed in places like retail and uh, business and professional services and healthcare and education. Uh, and ever fewer are, are employed in manufacturing and construction. Uh, but it, it gives us a good read on what's happening in those different parts of the economy. And going back, we talked about the impact that jobs reports can have on inflation. How does inflation, though, impact job creation? Sure. So one of the major reasons that employers have been quite cautious and that hiring has slowed is that their other input costs have gone up so much that they just can't afford to hire as many people as they want. So uh, inflation can weigh on businesses. When inflation leads the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates, that also holds job growth back because businesses and households lose access to credit. And if they can't borrow, well, they can't go out and buy new houses or buy new factories or buy new trucks. And they take a kind of wait and see approach and wait for those rates to come back down before they make those big investments and grow. And how can investors best break down these monthly reports? I suggest that every investor have the Bureau of Labor Statistics employment situation PDF sort of bookmarked on their computer and they hit refresh at exactly 8.30 Eastern time, the first Friday of every month. Uh, it is a really rich, full report. It, the, the numbers aren't just there in tables, but they're also interpreted and explained uh, and it can give you very rich insight into what's happening in the economy. Absolutely. Well, Julia, we'll be watching. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Meredith. This is Industry Insights. Stay right here on IBD for more. I'm Meredith Heyman. Thanks for watching.